I have with me Professor Manu Santanam, the Dean of Industrial Consultancy and Sponsored Research and a Chair Professor at IIT Madras. Manu, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, I know that you've just become the new Surendra and Dorothy Shah Chair, Institute Chair. How does it feel? And uh, you know Professor Shah for a long time. How does it feel to be the new Chair? It's really an honor and uh, it's almost like a dream because uh, I know that uh, a few a couple of decades ago, I was pursuing my master's and PhD in the US and at that time, Professor Shah was heading the Center for Advanced Cement Based Materials. I always had uh, a desire obviously to uh, follow in his footsteps and do something good and concrete and uh, I, he was a role model for all of us at that particular point of time. Uh, so having known him so long and uh, uh, finally also interacted with him a lot more after moving back to IIT Madras. I feel really honored and blessed to have uh, uh, been given, conferred this uh, honor. And uh, what uh, what makes it really unique is because uh, Professor Shah could have chosen to have this chair entered anywhere he wanted. Any university would have wel welcomed him, but he chose to keep it at IIT Madras and that's really something that we uh, are forever in that ended it to him. Certainly. And one of the great things that Professor Shah did was have this network based on ACBM, Advanced Cement Based Materials Center. Now you are heading a center at IIT Madras, the Center of Excellence Technologies for Low Carbon uh, Lean Construction. Mm -hmm. What is the future that you see for this center? What is the requirement? Why do we need such a center in India? Uh, we came up with the idea of the center primarily to look at uh, uh, making construction a lot more sustainable. And we uh, realized that the best way to do it would be to look at it from the perspective of uh, how do we manage our construction process and the materials that actually go into the construction, primarily concrete because that's the most important construction material in India. And uh, the way that we handle concrete, the way that we can en enhance its properties by using additives, uh, the way we can uh, bring about a lot more clarity in the processes that are involved in construction so that we minimize the waste. So all of these are very important aspects to study and also to implement in the field. Uh, so, the primary idea behind this uh, uh, center of excellence was to uh, bring people who have uh, expertise in building materials and management together so that uh, we could make a larger impact and uh, really see much of these uh, uh, new ideas and techniques being implemented in construction. Uh, we also hope that uh, there will be a lot of uptake from the industry uh, in the activities that we are doing. Because ultimately, without their uh, cooperation, uh, many of the things will remain in the lab and we will not be able to actually take it down to the field where it is really required. So, uh, uh, in the future, I feel uh, because of the increasing impact of uh, 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 global warming and the need to really control carbon dioxide emissions, there will be a lot of pressure on the industry also to adapt the practices rather soon because uh, we are already at a stage where things have become irre irreversible. And uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that with the kind of work that we do in the center, uh, we can bring about that much needed change in the industry. Great. Uh, I know that uh, you've just launched the consortium with industry and you have leaders of industry already on. Right. So, what is this industry TLC2 consortium about? Where, uh, what do you think will change because of this consortium? Uh, the TLC2 industry consortium was formed with uh, the idea that uh, the industry should participate in the kind of research that our center is doing. Uh, this way they are able to bring in uh, the challenges that they have in the field and uh, get us to pay some cognizance to these aspects while planning our research activities. So uh, we have uh, an option for industry to become members in this consortium and also be part of our uh, advisory board. That way they get to be uh, on the panel that actually selects the projects that we work on. At the same time, uh, they also can engage in much uh, wider uh, range of research studies with us. Uh, some of them uh, uh, of the kind uh, that will actually lead to more practices being adopted in the industry. And uh, we feel that uh, this involvement will be mutually beneficial and uh, this will really pave the way for uh, better academic uh, and industry collaboration. Uh, that's what we are hoping for. Thank you very much, Manu. I'm sure you'll, your center and you'll do a great job. Thank you so much. In helping the sector and the industry. Thank, Thank you very you. much.